manages to stay in there with fighters no matter what. You look up and down his record. A lot of majority decisions, a lot of split decisions. Yeah, he'll, get, he'll get more fights out of that. That was a good performance. Definitely. We have an honest effort to gentlemen to George Arias here tonight in our co-feature. But now it is time for our main event. Junior Faw coming back after a disappointing 2018, albeit no losses on his ledger. But Faw dealt with an illness that required an abdominal surgery. He dealt with an elbow injury and then came back with an explosive performance to close out 2018. Now it is a reintroduction to the American audience for Junior Faw, who probably weren't all that impressed with his performance against Craig Lewis. He's looking to change their minds tonight in Columbus. Yeah, speaking with, with Junior Fa, and, and you get that sense. You know, he's looking to put, you know, 2018 in, in the rearview mirror. He wants to start off 2019 uh, with a bang. He ended December with the win, and it was a first-round KO over uh, Rogelio Rossi. But tonight, you know, he wants to make a he wants to make a name. He wants to, you know, let everyone know in the U.S. market. You know, Junior Fa is a name that you're going to hear about. He's a guy that's going to be fighting on the likes, you know, of, of a showbox type of card and to get some more exposure. And it starts tonight here in Columbus, Ohio. Well, this is perhaps the biggest test of his pro career. This is Nufu Awata, the 2008 Olympian. He represented Algeria at the 2008 Games. Wata now as a pro. He's 16 and 2 with a nine knockouts. Now fighting out of France. You peel back his his record a little bit. 16 and 2, which is great. You know he has the the, the the nine KOs, which is great. But his two losses, both of those were KO losses, KO defeats. So you know if he, he is to lose, you know he, he will touch that canvas. And this is the man who wants to put him there. This is Junior Fa. Had an excellent amateur career. He fought in the World Series of Boxing. And he is ranked in the top 10 by the WBO. He is trying to knock on the door of a world title contendership. And that journey starts tonight. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape. The, the age right there sticks out to you right away. Junior fought four years younger than his opponent there, and the relatively the same height. Ladies and gentlemen from Columbus, oh! Bella Entertainment and Association with 2019 Arnold Sports Festival and Team Tory presents a championship contest. This bout is sanctioned by the World Boxing Organization and is scheduled for 10 rounds and on the line, the WBO Oriental Heavyweight Championship. Brought to you by ST High Tech, New Zealand's ultimate tuning and performance, and A-Side Watches. This bout is also being sanctioned by the Ohio State Athletic Commission, Executive Director in attendance, Bernie Profato. Your three judges scoring this title bout on a 10-point must system, Ben Rochester, Rick Levine, and Scott Maddox. Introducing first, the challenger fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black, trimmed in white official weight, 240 pounds, 18 professional contests, 16 victories with eight wins coming by way of knockout against only two defeats. He hails from Leon, France. Please welcome New Fall Wata. And his opponent, across the ring to my right, fighting out of the red corner, the defending champion, wearing black, champion white, official weight, 254 and one half pounds. His professional record is perfect. 10 bouts, 10 victories, no defeats. He's demonstrated his punching power with nine wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the reigning, defending WBO Oriental Heavyweight Champion from Papakoa, New Zealand, Junior. Referee Lonnie Scott, 
Main event time here on Broadway Boxing in Columbus, Ohio. Corey Erdman and Dan Canobio here with you. Junior Faw in the black trunks, trimmed with white, a gradient of white. And uh, Nufu Wata, the bearded taller fighter. Gradient, I like that. In the uh, black trimmed with white. Great choice of words, Corey. Right away, Junior Faw coming out swinging. It kind of goes in line with what he was telling us about how he wants to start off 2019 where he left off 2018. That was with a KO1. Well, Wata should be fresh. We, we last saw him in December of last year, so just about three months ago. Picked up a third-round TKO win. That was back home in France. Junior Fa, as we mentioned, the knockout victory over Rogelio Omar Rossi on December 15th, a first-round knockout. Good bounce back for uh, Junior Fa. This is Owatha's first fight outside of France. It's here in the States, first time in the States. You know, I was talking to my driver who picked me up uh, here, and he saw Owatha, he brought him to a Walmart. He'd never been to a Walmart. He picked up the cart, and he was just throwing toys in there, you know, fruit, food, everything. was enamored by uh, everything that Walmart had to offer. Well, we won't, don't want to give too much free advertisement to uh, Walmart here. However, we do, say want, a superstore. we do want to give a shout-out to our sponsors tonight, ST High Tech, New Zealand's ultimate tuning and performance workshop, Azad Watches, and Nissan of Queens. There's a good right hand from Junior Faw. Oh, nice. Oh, staggered, and down he goes. A lapse in concentration, perhaps from Wata, and he is plastered to the canvas. I don't know if he's gonna get up. Barely makes it up at the count of nine. That was textbook about how you should punch out of a clinch, and Awata is hurt here. Wata right up above us. He's going down to a knee. Wata takes a knee. That is the second knockdown of the opening round. And Wata still not looking like he's totally with it. Come low, come low. Told you both of Owata's losses were by KO. Another right hand from Fa. Not a lot left in the legs of Wata. The third knockdown of the round. No three knockdown rule here in Ohio. Of course, a sanctioned bout by the WBO, so that rule does not exist. Another right hand from Junior Fa. The referee has to think about stopping it at That's this point. It. He will. A dominant performance from Junior Fa. Nufu Wata just not able to put up much of a fight here tonight. Listen, Fa said this is exactly what he wanted to do. He wanted to start off 2019. With fireworks, and we saw that here in Columbus, Ohio. Junior Fa, a highly ranked heavyweight by the WBO, looking to start this climb, get back on track. He did it in spectacular fashion tonight here. Take a look at the replays here. It all stemmed from that, that, that first huge blow right onto the chin that kind of like you know, was the beginning of the end. And there was that right hand out of the clinch. Wata just really not fully paying attention at that point. Listen, what's the number one rule in boxing? Protect yourself at all times. Came out of that clinch a little lazily, and he paid for it big time. We see some more of the finishing shots here from Junior Fa. And Wata, who has also started a kickboxing career as well, you have to feel like maybe had one foot out the door here tonight. All right, let's go ahead and make this one official. Let's send it up to our ring announcer, Mr. George Phillips. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of two minutes, 51 seconds of round number one. Referee Ronnie Sky calls a halt to the contest. Your winner by TKO and now his 17th victory with his 10th 
knockout and still the WBO Oriental Heavyweight Champion Junior. So Junior Fa improves to 17 and 0. That is his 10th knockout on his pro resume. Picks up a regional WBO title as well and continues to climb the ranks as he campaigns for a domestic showdown perhaps against Joseph Parker and and what a spectacle that would be in New Zealand. Yeah, Joseph Parker, a fighter he's very familiar with. You know, fought him four times in the amateur split those four bouts. Right. I'd, I'd, I'd like to see that fight. It would certainly uh, be a big win for Junior Fa as he climbs towards a higher ranking in the heavyweight division, a division that is ripe right now with great talent and a lot of room for movement as well. So a big night for uh, New Zealand heavyweights, a first round knockout victory for Junior Fa over uh, Nufu Wata. And of course, the night started with an explosive performance from Hemi Yahio in stopping Ed Fountain. So a big night for the heavyweight hopes from New Zealand. We want to say a so long to our viewers in New Zealand and across Europe and in the United Kingdom. So long, everyone. We'll see you at the fights. In New York on St. Patty's Day, let the party roar. That's it. It is over. A second round TKO victory for Irish McConnell.